Shalom, and welcome to another installment of Elders of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is going to be another uh, news and prophecy uh, dated um, 1 uh, 12, 2013, or January 12, 2013. Um, just, we're just going to ride with the spirit. Um, whatever news articles are out there, we have uh, a couple of things from, uh, we got the news uh, trumpet uh, magazine, which is... Uh, It is, this is the newest one. This is the February edition of the uh, Trumpet, you know. So uh, if we got some articles out out of that, uh, good articles, we can go into that. Um, oh, I don't know if everybody saw, anybody saw uh, the interview with uh, Pierce Morgan and um, <laughs> Alex Jones. Alex, Alex Jones. <laughs> Alex Jones basically... Uh, <laughs> ripped a hole into that dude Piers Morgan's man, and he even challenged him to a boxing match. Um, he was he was on fire <laughs> with this guy, and basically he definitely won the the, the debate, um, and made uh, Piers look like a real, you know, little pussy, you know. Um, and then uh, afterwards they kind of got back at him. Um, they had uh, Alan Dirt Dirtrewitz. I call him Dirt. Dirt Truitz, um, who made a, made a statement about Alex saying, this guy has 50 guns. He said, I wouldn't want to be in this guy's house and get him mad. I wouldn't want to argue with him because he might, he, he'll, he'll use one of those guns. Well, wait a minute. There's no record of him ever pulling out a gun on anybody, ever shooting anybody. And all this stuff about this uh, gun control legislation, it's all these wackos, all these guys. Uh, what's this guy, Holmes, with the situation over there in the... Um, Aurora, Colorado. Um, then you got this guy. Yeah, the, whatever. This, the, the newest nut job. Um, and basically the first news reports that came out, they said that uh, there were two gunmen. One ran out into the woods, but all of a sudden the gun that gunman just disappeared. It's like it never happened. They said that they shot the, the, the this is, I forget the guy's name. What is his, what is his name? The Allen, whatever you know, it's uh, you know I don't even really keep up with it because it's such a joke. The media is such a joke. Uh, Sandy Hook situation. Um, the media, you know, on 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 cable on TV itself is a complete joke. So you have masses of people turning to the in internet to get the real news, the real information. You know, the information behind the information, and news behind the news. And they're going to guys like Alex Jones. They're, people are listening to us and many other people. Um, when it comes to, you know, no, not too many people, more and more people are not trusting the medical profession, these doctors, this whole uh, Obama health care uh, plan or act, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're not trusting in it, man. And the people don't trust the president. Oh, there's a thing where I said this back when he was a candidate for presidency. I said he's going to be, watch, he's going to be the worst president in the history of this country. And I said he ain't going to do a damn thing for black people. And I think I said in, in his first term, I said he didn't hire anybody. There was not, not one black person on his cabinet. Now, you had black people that was a part of his administration, but you didn't have one one black person or Israelite on his cabinet. Now, he's going for a second term, and the uh, Secretary of State, because uh, Hillary's uh, stepping down, is supposed the nominee is uh, this guy, um, uh, John Kerry. Then you have another guy, head of the uh, uh, Secretary of Defense, these different, uh, uh, the new head of uh, uh, the Secretary of the Treasury. Because uh, this guy, uh, Geithner, is uh, stepping down, and they're all white white people. Now, I believe you had the NAACP or one of those black organizations, um, you know, give their their side their their um 
uh, their peace of mind concerning um, the, the reason why um, Obama has not put any black people in any key positions in his cabinet. So black people are beginning to wake up. The Israelites are beginning to wake up. All right? You got got something? Right, say something for a minute. I just want to get something. All right. Yeah, so, you no, know, basically that's that's the times that we're in, you know, because all these things are coming together. You know, I mean, it seems like it's taking a while, but, but what it is is they're getting all the pieces in place. You know, all this gun legislation is part of, is part of the... Um, the the uh, the overall take or the take over take uh, over or taking over of America, you know, because they want to basically they they're such pussies they want to they want to disarm the people uh, from uh, and ha have the people from not being able to obtain um, assault type rifles to just handguns so that they can come in with their uh, high high tech uh, um, machine guns and high tech uh uh weapons and just pretty much wipe the people out with, with without much sweat cuz they 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 want to get they want to go to war with them but they don't want to have any casualties they w just want the casualties to be on the other side so basically they they're pushing hard on this uh gun control because they're trying to disarm the so-called american population with you know from uh not having any guns if if uh if possible you know, they had another shooting out in, a, I believe it was a high school in California. You know, and every time you hear these uh, school shootings, the first thing they bring up is, is a, a gun control, a gun legislation. You know, which, which basically to disarm the people, you know. But we don't, we don't give a damn about these people anyway. But that's just, just, just showing you that, that they're, they're going ahead with this agenda. They're pushing it forward, you know. But they've been trying to get this thing in place for the longest. And, and they're basically pussyfooting with it. You know, but everything is is coming to pass. You see stuff happening uh, uh, in Iran. You know, there's uh, legislation going on, or well, not legislation, but um, there's uh, uh, situations that uh, I just read something on. Um, I believe some uh, in in Sudan they have uh, Iran has some type of uh, um, uh, weapons or something like that that they can launch from Sudan or something to that effect. So it, it it's all coming it's all coming together. You know. And uh, here in this this uh, society, they're basically just uh, um, keeping you people uh, stupid, basically, you know. So that time is coming, you know, where the Lord is gonna is gonna cause something to happen that's gonna uh, turn uh, turn the tide, so to speak, and 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 you you're gonna start seeing a wave of stuff happening, you know. Once the Most High, because uh, um, He's working on the minds of all these people, because that's that's how the Lord uh, works. That's how He. Uh, Deals with with Esau. I mean, he can do it. He can just wave a finger and 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 just have everything just go down, and and um and be done and over with. But that's not how the Most High operates. The Most High says he, he says through the mouth, mouth of Paul, let all things be done decently and in order. And that's how the Lord does it. So he works basically works on the minds of these devils to uh, push legislation and push uh, what they what they're doing just in order to get things rolling. You know, uh, uh, prophecy wise. This is the book of Job 33 and 15. It says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instructions. Now the ears of men being opened, because what, do you ha what does a man have between his ears? His brain. So the Lord basically opens up your brain to uh, uh, um, put in the instructions that you're going to use for the following day or for the next week or for the next uh, uh, month or next year or however long the Lord has uh, that plan set up for. You know, it says um, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man, you know, which which uh, when you when you look at it, you know, uh, in the scriptures, there you have examples of that going on with the most high, you know, uh, through whether it was through Yahweh Shai or through any of uh, any uh, uh, other angels, they would work on the minds of men. And this is uh, the book of Daniel, the tenth chapter, in the first verse. It says, um, "In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing and had understanding of the vision." In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. 
I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. And he was praying uh, during this time. All right, and the Lord Daniel was a righteous man. The Lord would have answered him right away, but this is the reason why he didn't answer him right away. This is our verse ten. Behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands, and he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before the Lord, before thy power, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. It says, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me, and uh, one and twenty days. So, so Yahweh was working on the mind of this Persian king for twenty one days, which is three weeks, which is a whole time where Daniel was fasting and praying. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. So basically, they were working on the, this king's mind, you know, to uh, uh, withdraw him from his purpose or to make him do something, you know. Not that the Most High couldn't do it, but, you know, the bottom line is that they, they were working on his mind to do a particular thing. That's what the Most High is doing right now. The Most High is working on the minds of these devils, you know. Dealing, you know with, I mean, Barack Obama is a, a small fish. He's really dealing with the international bankers, you know, working on their minds to uh, push forth this agenda so that, that, that the, the, this ball can get rolling in the right direction, you know, because right now it's just scattered all over the place, you know. You, he, they're all over the world doing all different types of things. There's all different types of uh, uh, so-called natural disasters that some of these devils are using a heart program uh, uh, um, to uh, uh, put into effect. So basically the Lord is doing that, you know, he, like, like a, it says, like a, a travailing woman. When she's about to have a child, she has pains here and there. And at the end of it, the baby comes out, you know, and that's what we're waiting for, the end, you know. So that's basically where we're at. That's why you see all this stuff happening, you know, in the news and, uh, um, you know, well, the good news, the, the news that you should be watching is uh, those European type news, uh, Al Jazeera and uh, things like that where they give you uh, the real up-to-date uh, um, facts of things that are going on that they're not speaking in the American media. You know, because this place, is, they're not going to give you the truth. They're not going to tell you what's really going on because they want to keep you stupid, you know. They, 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 they're flooding you with this, uh, this garbage food that you eat out there. They've, they're flooding you with all different types of prescription drugs with, uh, or, the, or the, all these... Um, you know, with all this, uh, uh, the chemtrails and, and all the stuff that's out here, to basically to, to keep you dumbfounded, you know, to keep you sick, to keep you going back and forth to the hospital so they can keep giving you these uh, mind-altering uh, 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 and body-altering uh, drugs in, in the, in the, in the uh, pharmacy, you know, in, in, in the medical uh, industry, you know, to basically keep you stupid, you know, to keep you sick. So your main concern would be just trying to get well, you know, and not be concerned with the, with the uh, hardcore issues at hand, you know. So that's why the Lord said that, that he would, um, that's what the Lord said that he, that, that this veil that they have, you know, this darkness, or this, uh, uh, this dark, basically this darkness, which, which what it is, this darkness that they have out there uh, among the people, the Lord was going to pull that veil back and start letting people see what's going on. And that's what's going to cause the uproars. That's what's going to call, cause disturbances and riots and stuff like that. So I'm going to read this real quick. <clears throat> this is out of the book of Isaiah 25 and 7. It says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. See, because as long as people are, are given this fluoridated water, as long as they fed this garbage food, you know, as long as they keep eating them donuts and, and, and you know, and all that garbage, you know, and, 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 and watching stupid uh, uh, sitcoms and, and, and uh, these stupid reality shows, they're going to be stupefied. But as soon as they, their eyes are opened up to what's really going on, that's when they're going to start coming, you know, for, for these uh, 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 international bankers and these uh, uh, senators and, and governors and judges and lawyers and police, you know, because they're going to get tired of, of the bullshit, basically. That's why you're hearing now more more police officers getting shot or getting killed, 
You know why? Because they know the people out here are, are starting to realize that these police officers are not on their side. These police officers are not here to help you. All right, they're here to help the interests of the international bankers. They're here to push forward this new world agenda. You know that's why everything is being locked down. You know, like in the last uh, last uh, week, you know, Elder Tahar went into uh, this um, the privatization of, of the. Um, of these um, um, correctional facilities, you know, these prisons, you know, and the reason why they're doing that is because it will be cheaper to have uh, 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 um, these private corporations do this, do uh, um, run these uh, prisons, you know, so that they can do whatever the hell they want to do up in there. Because it's coming to that point, man, where where when when the shit gets locked down, you ain't gonna be able to uh, uh, move in this society. You ain't gonna be able to uh, come and go like you can now. It's going to be a total different uh, time. It's going to be a total different... Uh, uh, it's going to seem like a total... Like you're in a foreign country. You know? So that's why we make, make mention of the different movies that they show you these things in. You know? So you can have somewhat of an idea of what's going to happen when that time comes. You know? Like The Handmaid's Tale. You know? Uh, uh, 1984. You know? Uh, movies like uh, They Live. And uh, uh, other movies like that. You know? They show you what's happened. They show you what's going on. You know, but they, but, but the thing, the thing of it is, is it's not fully implemented. It's not fully in place yet. You know, because they, they, they're working on it. Believe it or not, they're working on it. And, and, and the Most High is, is working with them. You know, to do what they do. So when the time comes, the Most High can uh, um, shut that trap down on, on them. All right, this is the book of um, Job, chapter twelve. Because see, these devils, they, they're so proud that they think. That what's going on in the world They think that they're doing it They think that they're making it happen You know they think that they're going to continue to rule But, but the Most High is going to cut that time short He's going br to bring you devils down This is um, the book of uh, Job Chapter 12 um, And verse 16 uh, Yeah it says verse 16 It says with him is strength and wisdom The deceived and the deceiver are his so basically, you devils that are deceiving the world, deceiving the people, and those that are being deceived are both controlled by the Most High. He's the one that's, that's uh, uh, in control. He's the one that's uh, um, making these things happen around the world. You know, not you. He's just using you as a pawn. You're just a pawn in the Most High's game. And, and, this, and this, is, this, this is his movie. This is like a big uh, um, production that's going on. The Most High is the producer, the director. You know, and everything else in between. And he's directing everything, you know, and, and um and basically at the end of this whole deal, you're gonna know that it's the most high that's ruling. That's that's uh, controlling things, not you. This is uh the book of Daniel chapter four, verse seventeen. It says this matter is by the decree of the watches and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know. That the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, because right now people are even though they have a um, uh, an inkling or, or or a belief in a higher power, they're really looking to this man to this, this, these Edomites as being the the governors and rulers of this world. You know which the Lord did give it into their hand, but but they ain't doing uh, the right thing. The Most High is the one that's ruling things. It says, and giveth it to whomsoever he will, and setteth up over it. The basis of men So you Edomites You so called white people You are the basis of men You are the, the, the uh, cave men And the cave women You know And, and, the, and the idiots Basically of the world Because it takes an idiot To uh, To take control Over the world And to destroy it Destroy the food Destroy the earth Destroy the water the, uh, Pollute Pollute the air you breathe It takes an idiot to do that only an idiot would destroy uh, um, like that. All right. So you devils, just just get ready, just get ready for for what the Most High got in store for you. This is uh, give me uh, Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, and the um, Uh, start at the uh, the tenth verse, uh, and then we're gonna read down to uh, the thirteenth verse. Okay. 
This is Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 10. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight. Twenty shekels a day from time to time shalt thou eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure the sixth part of an hen. From time to time shalt thou drink. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Yeah, so what we're eating is crap. We're eating, we're eating shit. Because the uh, elder had mentioned that earlier about this food. You know, McDonald's is nothing but poison, man. You have a thing called, uh, uh, what was it called? Pink slime. And when you go to McDonald's and these little bur these burger joints, now uh, Wendy's claim that they don't use pink slime but look that up, brother. Pink slime. And that's what you're eating. You're eating this 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 chemically, you know, processed bullshit, man. You know? So that's why I said we're gonna eat our bread defiled among the Gentiles, man. You know? Now go from there to uh while he's getting it, uh get me uh Hosea, the ninth chapter. And start from the first verse, we're going to read down to about maybe the third or fourth verse. Go ahead. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 9, verse 1. Rejoice not, O Israel, for joy, as other people. For thou hast gone a whoring from thy power, thou hast loved a reward upon every corn floor. The floor and the winepress shall not feed them, and the new wine shall fall in her, shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land. But Ephraim shall return to Egypt, and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria. Yeah, they're going to eat unclean things in Assyria. So Ephraim, they love eating pork. They eat, they eat, um, they eat squid. I mean, they, 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 they eat octopus. They eat all kind of, you know, filthy, abominable, abominable things, man. And that's why, um, you know, our people are constantly in the, in, in, in the uh, hospital, man. The minds of our people are not working like the way they're supposed to work. And then it also goes into uh, the fact that you have uh, what's called um, a pineal gland inside the middle of your brain. And they're using these um, uh, chemtrails and um, this chemi chemical food, you know, and this processed sugar and this processed food to... Uh, Destroy your 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 uh, pi actually your pi pineal gland and all your uh, endocrine uh, uh, gl glands your 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 endocrine system man that's why we're always sick. Um, they 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 also use fluoride in your in your drinking water, especially in the major cities. In your toothpaste. Now there's a there's a thing on the toothpaste. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you that. Speak for a minute. Yeah, so basically they're flooding you with all these poisons to destroy your, your body. Because they know, see, like, like wheat is good for you. You know, corn is good for you. You know, you have different uh, um, um, foods out there that are good for you, that have a, a good source of fiber and good source of nutrients, you know, to, to, to benefit your body. And the Lord made it so. But now what they do is they, they have... Uh, GMO or genetically modified uh, uh, um, organisms or, or genetically modified wheat, genetically modified uh, uh, corn, you know. So it's really it's not real food. It, it, they're chemically created, they're chemically processed and made to look like the corn, make the taste like the corn, make the taste like the wheat and look like the wheat and, and, and tomatoes and all that. But they're really chemical garbage that when you eat it, you know, you, 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 you eat it, you know, if you season it right, it tastes good, but it really is not working good for your stomach. It breaks your digestive system down. It tears your organs apart, your blood cells, you know, your red blood cells, your white blood cells. You know, it uh, uh, breaks through that uh, 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 blood-brain barrier. You know, it, 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 it basically, and it, it, keep it uh, uh, simple, it fucks your whole system up. You know, and that's why the majority of, uh, you have a lot of Jakes dropping dead at, when they're 30 years old, young men. You know, you have a majority of people that's sick, they have all different types of ailments and problems, from severe to, to uh, not so severe. 
You know, a lot of people have allergies that years ago, only a handful of people would have allergies. Now it seems like damn near everybody got allergies. It comes from the food that you're eating. It comes from this bullshit air that you're breathing, this water that you're drinking. You know, this man is a fucking Frankenstein, man. Yeah, this right here is uh, Colgate Total. And um, it says drug, drug facts. It says active ingredients. It says sodium fluoride. All right? And then uh, right here, when you read at the uh, warning, it says warnings. Keep, this is toothpaste now, Colgate toothpaste. Keep out of the reach of children under six years of age. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact a poison control center Right away. I hope you got that in your uh, <laughs> your cell phone. I hope you got a poison control center. And right next to that, you should have uh, under C, uh, C uh, the C, the CDC, the uh, Center for Disease um, Control. All right. They're not trying to uh, prevent disease. They're trying to control it. It should be called if they, if they were about eradicating diseases, they, it would be called the CDR Center. For disease eradication. All right? But it's, it's called Center out of Atlanta, Center for Disease Control. To, to, to control disease, they're telling you right there, they're not trying to do away with diseases, they're trying to control it, man. There's an epidemic, a flu epidemic, and this was two days ago, I didn't hear nothing about a flu dem- epidemic. All of a sudden, yeah. two days ago, a, year, a day and a half ago, it's an epidemic now. 47 states. I said, wait a minute, I'm not, I don't have the sniffles, I ain't, co- I ain't, I ain't, I don't know. You know, the ones that get that are the ones that take them damn shots. Because what's, what's in that fluoride is, um, is, uh, the, uh, I mean, what's in that, that shot is, uh, is, uh, that, 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 that flu. The actual flu, that strain of flu or another strain of flu. Because there's different strains of flu. So if you use one flu shot, it does, it doesn't necessarily have to protect protect you against the flu that's around right now so people that get the flu get a worse case of flu they feel better they feel like they got the flu that's somebody that had the flu you feel like you got the flu because they give you a percentage of the actual strain of flu so you feel like you're sick and they tell you that then you feel better but then you feel sick again and then you may drop dead all right. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You know, because you, 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 your body can only take so much. Your, your body can only be bombarded by so much, and, and, and it, it's, it'll fight off uh, all these diseases, but so much. But after a while, your, your major organs just start shutting down. You know? So that's why, you know. I mean, you have to do what you got to do. You know, you eat the best you can, you know, whatever you can afford. But at the end of the day, it's, it's of the Lord's mercies that, you know, we're not consumed. Yeah. Now, this this is an article from uh, uh, California NAACP. Refuse, refuse to stand with GMO labeling, labeling uh, Prop 37. Now, the head of the uh, NAACP is this fucking white guy, man. That's not a Jake. That, that's a damn white boy with curly hair. I mean, that, the NAACP is a goddamn joke. Started by so-called Jews. Okay, so let's read the pertinent points in that article. Uh, it, it says, um, the election has finally come to a, close, to a close, and most people are sighing a breath of relief. Whether your candidate of choice was Obama or Romney, seeing the end of this campaign seem, uh, season seemed to be welcomed by many. Of course, besides choosing the president, there were many other choice voters had to consider at the polls. There was a lot of propositions on the ballots in each state, and Prop 37 in California drew a lot of attention, not just within the state, but nationally. The hot-button issue of labeling GMO, GMO foods was on a lot of people's minds. 
this measure was discussed on uh, fr fru uh, whatever that is, fru Frugirovi recently and highlighted how this uh, position has nat national imp implications. Um, I am very passionate about food justice and I'm not shy about stating that I voted in favor of this proposition. Needless to say, I'm very disappointed or rather incensed when the proposition failed. Then adding insult to further injury, I came across the article about the California NAACP voting in uh, opposition to the proposition as well. In, in other words, in other words, the California division of the NAACP, led by this this cracker looking guy, um, like the name is up there. I forget the guy's name, but he's not important anyway. He's not for our people. Uh, he voted that uh, a proposition thirty seven is matter of fact. Uh, go to another, open up another tab, and uh, copy and paste Prop thirty seven. And you might be able to get it on Wikipedia, and they'll just give you an idea. See, you Jake, Jake's out there. You listen to, you watch BET. You know, you 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 watch, uh, you know, you watch these stupid shows. You watch reruns, reruns of uh, Martin. You know, you 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 watch, uh, you know, reruns of Girlfriends. You you watch, uh, 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 what is it, the uh, Housewives of Atlanta? That's all poison, man. That's why you don't know what the hell is going on. Hey, go ahead, Ock. Um, this is uh, the definition of uh, Proposition 37. Uh, California Proposition 37, mandatory labeling of genetically engineered food. Uh, Proposition 37, a mandatory labeling of genetically engineered food initiative was on the November 6, 2012 ballot in California as an initiated state statute where it was defeated. If Proposition 37 had been improved, it would have required labeling on raw or processed food offered for sale to consumers. In other words, it's supposed to be labeled whether the food is GMO or not. And GMO stands for genetically, mo genetically modified, means, modified means change, an organism. Um, give me a, open up another tab and uh, let's, let's, let's break these words down. You know what? Go to organism. Let's see what organism is. So anytime you eat a food that that has GMO in it, that's an organism. Genetically modified organism. But you don't know that because you're busy watching BET and some bullshit. Uh, organism. Go ahead, read the read the uh, definition. Yeah, from the the free dictionary dot com, the uh, definition for organism is uh, it says an individual form of life such as a plant, animal, bacterium, uh, protus, or fungus, a body made up of organs, uh, organe organelles, or other parts that work together to carry out to carry on the various process, processes of life. Um, a system as analogous in its structure or functions to a living body. That's, that's pretty much what they have here. In other words, it's something that they, it's a living, breathing thing. And we don't know what GMOs are. Genetically, you, you take something that has a genetic structure and you modify it. You change it. That's why you have grape seedless, seedless grapes. You have uh, seedless watermelon, seedless apples, seedless oranges. That's gen genetically modified. It was altered because give me that Genesis, uh, the first chapter, whose seed was in itself. And then you got people that said you can't call a white man a devil. Only the devil would do do this here, man. Take an apple and say, you know what? I don't want seeds to be an apple. Well, how are you going to grow other ap apples? Well, you're going to use some ge genetically modified whatever seed 
to put back in the ground. Some seed that you created in a damn laboratory. Go ahead. This is Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. And the power said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. Whose seed is in itself. So anytime you crack open a, a watermelon, which by the way, watermelon, um, if you eat enough watermelon, you'll never, you'll never suffer can uh, from cancer. Because what watermelon does is uh, when you eat it, it, act, it, it activates the, um, in your body uh, a thing called um, glutathione. Okay, and certain green leafy vegetables, uh, bro broccoli, um, spinach, um, kale, asparagus. Asparagus is, is the main one on the list. And that releases the glutathione in, in, your, in your system, in your body. And it fights that cancer. But our, our people, man, we can't see in the hospital because you eat that bullshit, man. Now, now, now go back to pink slime and let's see what, let's see what that says. Uh, this is from Wikipedia. The definition of pink slime is the common name for a controversial beef product often often written with quotation marks as pink slime in print. The name used in the meat industry is lean, finely textured beef and boneless, lean beef trimmings. It is also known by the dysphemistic slang term, Soylent Pink. It is yeah, a there was a movie out called Soylent Green, where I think they took the pit. I came out when I was a kid. They took... Uh, they were feeding the people biscuits, I think it was, and I believe it was other people's bodies. They were they were reprocessing the bodies and feeding it to the rest of the people. Yep. Go ahead. It is a processed beef product that was originally used only in pet food and cooking oil, and was not approved for human consumption. In 2001, in the United States, the product was approved for limited human consumption. What year was that? 2001 in the United States the product was approved for limited human consumption and began to be used as a food additive to ground beef and beef based processed meats as a filler at a ratio of usually no more than 25% of any product and then, and then you know what man I they're not that. regulating what's going on it could be 50% it could be 75% like that, like that, uh, um, like McDonald's, uh, Taco Bell. That Taco Bell is, uh, what do you call it, dirt third grade uh, meat that they use. That's basically the same grade of meat that they make dog food with. So in essence, you're eating dog food. Dog food. Yeah, they show you that in that movie. Um, <laughs> they sh uh, well, yeah, Demolition Man. But um, in the movie 1984, they showed you that. You know, they, the scene where they were in the cafeteria talking about the... Uh, that uh that book um the uh, new speak book and then the guy said are you gonna eat that and then uh, Winston said no the big fat dude he said he took it he said yeah I know it's not it's, it tastes like meat it looks like meat but it's not meat at all you know so basically they're letting you know that that do that that the stuff that you're eating is really not food it's not really food I got some real quick this is uh Psalms 82 verse 5 they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. You know, so everything is out of course. You know, I mean, as it, uh, uh, the food is one thing, but even the, the roles of male and female. You got these dykes, man, that, that are acting just like fucking men, and you got these, uh, these faggots that are acting just like fucking women. You know, I had to go to DMV uh, this week. I was sitting in and I'm looking... And I'm like, can you believe this shit? All these goddamn faggots acting like goddamn women. They're walking around switching like a goddamn woman. Then you got these dykes walking all butchy. And I, I'm, I'm just... Well, they have classes on that. If you want to change your sex, they actually have the final stages. They have classes to show you how a woman... You was once a man, but you want to be a woman. So they show you how to fold your legs. They show you how to do this. They, they show you how to pick up things. And they train you. And they'll, they actually have people that train you how to really be a damn woman. 
to get get the essence of being a damn woman. And it's and it's and it's sickening, man. That's why this fucking society is getting ready to go down in a big bang. Yeah, that's why it says it says all the, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. You know, and, and the most high he's going he's going to do you in uh, Esau. The most high going to do you in, you damn devil. Cuz you you the main cause of of all this bullshit going on out here. It's, this is uh, Revelation 11 and 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great. You heard that, Nate? <laughs> it says, And should have destroyed them which destroy the earth. And that's a way of destroying the earth, you know. I mean, the pollution is one thing, but but the food that that you that you've uh, made out here, the people's minds that you've altered, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> the, the, these damn Catholic. Hey, man, I'm laughing because you think about this bullshit, man, that goes on, man. And you know, hey, we didn't know what we was gonna say, but this the spirit changed up. We got into the food, then it went from food. A, a pink slime to the NAACP and them selling their people out in California to to homosexuals and uh, homosexuals and uh, dykes and all that bullshit, man. And so we're laughing at this shit because you know I'm thinking about I'm hey when my demon lived there's a damn dyke two fucking dyke one act like a woman but I'm nice to him you know but inside I want to fucking low kick their asses man to oblivion you know I want to I want to I want to to destroy him, but I but I ain't gonna do that because I'm I'm in this man's society, man. You know, I'm in this man's society. Now going back to Alex Jones, right? And I said he he verbally beat the shit out of that dude Paris Morgan, man. And they had Alan Dershowitz. Now it was set up that Alan Dershowitz was supposed to have a debate with Alex Jones, but they changed it up, man. They said, nah, you ain't gonna have basically Alex um uh, uh Dershowitz um He's for torture, all right? He's for torture. He said that uh, it's all right to torture people, but he's supposed to be a, 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 a liberal, all right? And they said he secretly works for the uh, Mossad, for the Israeli government. I mean, he's a slick slide devil. Now, this guy was the uh, appellate uh, attorney for OJ. If OJ, they had him on standby in case OJ lost the trial. He was to come in to appeal it, and he would have he would have got he would have got OJ off. All right. So this guy has a lot of lot of dirt on him. All right. Yeah. All right. So um, yeah. So basically, all all this all this uh, uh information is coming out on you devils, man. All this stuff that you're doing around the world, you know. I mean, it's it's obvious in in the people that they elect and the people that they put in the office. What they plan on doing, you know, because they come out and they say it, and these same people that you that you that that uh, that you know as scumbags uh, are behind the scenes. They're the ones that's basically running the society through the orders of the uh, international bankers, you know. So the most you know the most high gonna get you devils, man. But um, there's a scripture I'm looking for real quick. Um, just give me one second here. I believe it's in the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2 Yep Habakkuk chapter 2 Verse 15 It says Woe unto him That giveth his neighbor drink That putteth thy bottle to him And maketh him drunken also That thou mayest look On their nakedness Thou art filled with shame For glory Drink thou also And let thy foreskins Be uncovered That's all the, the dirt That you've done You know Let it all be uncovered It says The cup of the Lord's right hand Shall be turned unto thee And the cup of the Lord's right hand Is us You know Out here that out here teaching You know uh, and, and, and exposing uh, uh, You know You devils You know And the things that the Most High is doing Exposing you You know Which he's using Doing through our, our, our mouths And he's also doing it Through uh, other people out there That are, are bringing out information on, on the dirt that you've been doing All this time It says uh, And shameful spewing Shall be on thy glory Because right now This country uh, You call America Or this, this uh, corporation You call America You know this is a shameful spewing being put out there. That's why all these nations hate your guts, man. You know that's why uh, uh, um, you have your own people here in, in uh, uh, these uh, in um, these militiamen 
that that want to that want to kill you. They want to take you out. You know because of all the uh, nonsense and all the dirt and all the wickedness that you've done. You know, so basically you you you're being exposed. And that's the way to before the most high bring bring a kingdom down or bring somebody a person down, he exposes them. You know, and that's what the Lord is doing to you, America. You know, international bankers, you congressmen, senators, policemen, uh, uh, judges, uh, lawyers, you know, all of you. The Lord is exposing every last one of you. All right, it says, for, uh, that, that was it on that. You know, so basically, just just get ready. You know, get ready uh, uh, to, to take your ass whooping, Esau. Matter of fact, this is Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. So this place is, is a bloody city. And it's full of it's full of what? It's full of robbery. It's full of lies and robbery. You can't believe shit Esau say. Everything this devil says is a damn lie. You know? Because that's the way he was created from the beginning. When he was when he was that serpent in the garden, which was an actual man that had serpentile ways. From the very in, uh, inception or the very conception of this devil, he was created to be the wicked. He was created to be a damn liar. It tells you that in the book of Psalms, the 58th chapter. So it says, Woe to the bloody city, it is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Because, Jake, we're still in slavery under this damn devil. You know? That's why you have a social security card. That's why you have a birth certificate. That's why you have to go get a license for this, a license for that. If you want to drive a car, you need a license. If you want to get a job, you need a license. If you want to do this, you need a license. You know, so everything you do is you have to have a license. You have to have permission. You have to have, pay a fee. You have to pay a tax on every single thing that you do. So if, you, if you're doing that, then, then you're not free. That's why Yahweh Shai asked the disciples of whom do, do the heathens take uh, uh, um, tribute from? You know, of, of their children which are free or of, of others, you know, of slaves, you know, basically. And, they, and then, then the disciples told them of the slaves. He said, then are the children free. So basically, if you're in the society and you have to abide by the rules of the society and you have to go by the rules of the society, just because you're not in chains doesn't mean that, that, you're, not, that you're not a slave. You're still a slave. As long as you in this man's system and you and you have to pay a tax and you have to get a driver's license and you and you have a birth certificate and you have to have all these different uh, contracts and documents that you have to sign, you know, to to be able to do something, whether it be able to work or be able to drive or whatever the case may be, you're still a slave. All right? You're a contractual slave. You're a thirteenth amendment slave. You're a fourteenth amendment slave. All right, you're a slave to this country, and we're still found in your hands, devil, until this very day. This is Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16. This is what the Most High said. This, see, this is the reason why you don't want this truth out there, because the truth is, is stinging the hell out of you. It's, this is Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And you have stole us. You know, you, we are still in slavery. Just because the physical chains are not on us doesn't mean that we're not still slaves. So the most I said that you're going to receive death. That's why the judgment for America is what? Destruction. By thermonuclear destruction. Thermonuclear fire. Because that's the judgment that the most high uh, brought, uh, 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 is bringing upon you for the things that you have done to his chosen. And the other things that you're doing around the world. And, and the dirt that you are doing around the world to other nations. You know the most high is going to get you for all of that. You know? I got this for you. Um, this is uh, Second Ezra and the Apocrypha. The, uh, we didn't even get to, into them articles, man, but uh, that's all right. A spirit saw so a different. Um, uh, Second Ezra is the uh, 16th chapter. And start from the 17th verse, and we're going to read down. Because we're coming to this, to this time of hell in this country. Now, last night, I was watching the Euro News, and they said that uh, Greece, they had uh, raised taxes again on Greece. Now, they were, they were uh, raising hell back in 2009 about raising the taxes. Every six months, they raise the taxes, man. And it's eventually going to come to the states. Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16 verse 17 Woe is me, woe is me 
Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of wars. You have the, the French that had just sent troops into Mali in Western Africa because you have rebels uh, that calling for the takedown of uh, or the ouster of the uh, current president. Now this current president, um, he's a uh, he's a puppet for the West. Now I did some study up studying up on uh, Mali. They said the uh, the um uh, what what is it the uh, the average uh, uh, pay amount of sa uh, salary, uh, I believe it's one dollar and twenty five cent a day, and that's been going on for the longest. So now the reason what now I, I read about the resources in that land. And uh, it says there's a lot of gold in that land. But that's why you have uh, the uh, Afri Afri uh, com, African Command, Africa Command, led by Jake, down there in the, um, uh, in the interiors of Africa. Not just in Mali, but in, in, in uh, Senegal, which is uh, touching Mali. And these other African nations that they don't even tell you about. They have uh, North, Northcom, Northern Command, which that's the uh, U.S. military branch who's uh, located in, in um, the Americas. And when the shit hits the fan scenario take place, that's when they're going to send out these uh, U.S. troops. And like I said, they don't tell you on the news about well, they, they're speaking about it right now. How they sent French? The French government had sent French uh, military troops down there, and guess what? The U.S. is going to most likely send troops down there too. Well, they're already down there anyway. See, this thing is is getting ready to, uh, you know, blow like a volcano that's ready to erupt because you can only live for so long under a. Uh, credit based monetary system because it was talked about in Congress and among the uh, among the, the president and the Congress they were going to create this uh, coin and it was going to be called a one trillion dollar coin and it was one ounce of uh, platinum which one ounce of platinum uh, pure platinum not a point nine 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 platinum is only worth sixteen hundred dollars. So how are you gonna take something that's uh sixteen hundred dollars and um and, and 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 put a trillion dollars on it? Because if that's the case, I have a trillion I have a billion dollar coin in 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 um in the next room over there. I got a billion dollar coin. And I'm gonna show you that billion dollar coin right quick. If they can actually create a trillion dollar coin with an ounce of uh, platinum that's worth sixteen hundred dollars. Well, I got me a billion dollar coin. I'm gonna show you it. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. You know. So basically, that's another. See, that's another uh, uh, form or another way you know that uh, this country, the, the, or this uh, corporation called America, is falling financially. You know, because the money that they have is not real money. So and when you, I mean, really, when you examine it on all levels, this country is falling. Uh, on all levels, every every which way, is falling. Yeah, this is this is it right here. I got a billion dollar coin right here. You see, it's ten ounces. See how big it is? That's the billion dollar coin. If, in fact, the uh, trillion dollar coin actually exists, well, I got a billion dollar coin. All right. So you people out there, you don't understand. The money system, and we're gonna to have to do a show on that, on the money system, and on and on how real money works, what real money is, as opposed to these uh, FRNs, uh, Federal Reserve notes. All right, go ahead, Ock. It says the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges. For amendment, 
But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, just like uh, uh, Pharaoh. You know, all the hell that the Lord put upon him, and he still was proud. He still didn't uh, turn around. It says, Behold, there was a point where he wanted to turn around, but the, it said that the Most High hardened his heart. <laughs> That's right. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's why these Edomites, anytime there's a mass shooting anywhere in the uh, contiguous uh, United States, what, what do Edomites basically do? They run out and buy more guns. And they're looking for that AR-15 because they're figuring, well, let me get that thing now. Let me get five or six of them. See, Jake is, um, you know, going by that buyback program and they return their guns so they can buy their kids Christmas gifts and so forth. You notice how it came about in, uh, around Christmas time because Jake ain't got nothing to give their kids so they'll take one of their the nine mil or, or whatever, a rifle, and they'll trade it in and get $100 or a couple hundred dollars to buy their kids gifts. Esau ain't thinking like that, man. Esau is stockpiling these weapons. Esau... They're, they're stockpiling bullets because they read these articles, all right? Go ahead, read. Right. It says, For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So that's gonna be you're gonna run from one situation to another. You know, you're gonna you're gonna escape uh, uh you might escape the race war, but you're gonna get caught by hunger. You might escape the hunger. You might get caught in, in a, 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 a wall of fire. So no matter which way you go, you're going to be uh, caught up. And if you make it out of all those things, you, you ain't going to escape the missiles. If you're not of the elect, you're not going to be beamed up in them ships when the angels come down with the, uh, the chariots of Israel. All right? If you're a Moor, you're not going to make it. If you're a Muslim, you're not going to make it. If you're Baptist, Methodist, Jehovah Witness, Cat, Roman Catholic, if you're an atheist, if you're a free thinker, Hinduism, you're not going to make it. So, I mean, you know, you better hope that you starve to death or get shot up or drown or commit suicide. There's a movie out, came out a couple years back, called The Road. And they showed you in the movie, but they didn't tell you what made that situation happen. But they showed you in the movie, there was certain, play, the, the man and his son, the man was played by uh, Viggo Mort, Mort, Mortensen. And uh, they went into one house, and they went into a room, and there was a guy that was hung up, <laughs> that hung himself. And he told, and his son got all bugged out, and he said, "You know what happened? You know what happened?" Then there was another scene where they had a a bedroom, and there was a skeleton laying in the bed. I think Mortensen pulled back the covers, and there was a skeleton there. Then you had another scene where they had this one house that they there was food up in the house, and they 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 saw people coming back to the house, and down in the basement. You had people butt naked, skinny as hell, and no. And when you read about the uh, the story behind it, or if you get the director's cut, and he does his commentary, he said this represents the weaker ones. They're gonna chain them up, and they're gonna chop them up, and they're gonna eat them. And even his wife said she couldn't deal with it, and she went out into the woods because she said if they catch up to us, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna um, they're gonna kill us. They're going to rape her, then they're going to kill her, then they're going to eat her. Then she said they're going to eat us. And I can read that in the Apocrypha too. That's in um, uh, one chapter uh, before where it says they're going to die in the mountains. And it says they're going to eat their children. They're going to eat each other. See, you have no idea what is it going to happen in 2013? Is it going to happen in 2014? We don't know how how Barack Obama is going to move after he's inaugurated.
to be the be the president for another four years. He's going to probably wait until after January, and then you got the situation with uh, March. I believe it's March twenty third. Uh, the uh, mandatory uh, microchip, and I'm not saying that you know what's going to happen. March twenty third is going to come around, and it's not going to be as bad. And then people going to be talking shit. In other words, that's the time. That's part of the agenda to push that thing. They'll probably have more commercials on it. They'll probably say, look, if you want to become a cop, you have to get this chip in order to work this gun. In other words, they're going to really start pushing it. And then you're going to, you're going to get re resistance from the Israelites. You're going to get resistance from Israelites that never believe what we said about the mark of the a, a beast of being a microchip and they're going to start saying you know what GMS was right you have these patriots that, that read the scriptures these Edomites which a lot of them are Jake anyway they read the scriptures and they know that the mark you ask any white person that read the bible or knows a few things and I'm going to do that down, downtown man I'm going to have a separate camera route and that's going to be my new little program man I'm going to pull Edomites on the side and I'm going to ask them about the mark of the beast then I'm going to do the same thing to Jake and I'm going to see how many Jakes are going to come out and say well that's, that's the uh, microchip that's the mark of the beast not many Jakes I'll be surprised if, if one or two Jakes know that but them Edomites say no because we ran into Edomites even Edomites, Edomite women I asked this one Edomite woman, I said, what's the mark of the beast all about? She said, that's the microchip. So that's my little uh, experiment that I'm going to do uh, later today or later tonight when, I, when I'm out there on the highways and the byways. But we're coming to an end, man. All hell is getting ready to break loose. Go ahead. It says, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. Yeah, now, there's a video out of this guy, uh, G for T. He's with uh, uh, a bad finger. Because we watch those other videos, Demcad and Alex Jones. Um, I don't know if they watch us, but so whether they do or not, so what? You know? They want to get the truth, they better watch us. Anyway, um, uh, uh, G for T and, um, and uh, bad finger, they had drove out to uh, Arizona. And they rolled up on this truck stop and the place was abandoned man they went inside the place and you still see you can still see cases of soda sitting there you know you can see still see uh cans of uh different product just sitting there and then the next scene you see bad finger crying talking about this, this place is done america's done well he woke up to reality the masses of you people don't know what the hell's going on man Go ahead. It says, There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? Yeah, you're going to have certain places like in Arizona, certain places that are abandoned. Let's say you got an apple tree out there. You're going to see apples growing on the tree, but nobody's going to pick the apples. Go ahead. The grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. So that one man shall de desire to see another and to hear. Yeah, because you're gonna, it tells you in uh, Isaiah the 13th chapter that these nations are going to go back to their land. They're not going to believe in the American dream anymore. All these financial uh, news uh, experts are saying China is the place to be. Hong Kong is the place to be. Myanmar is the future place to be. India, parts of India, that's, that's the place to be. Go ahead. So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For of a city there shall be ten left and two of a field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks. As in an orchard of olives upon every tree there are left three or four olives, or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. And the earth shall... The sword represents the gun. The modern day sword, sword is the gun. Go ahead. 
It says, And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel therethrough. The virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold, the word of the Lord. Did you hear what, what uh, Ezra, Ezra said? He said, hear, read that again. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord, which are the elect. See, this book, this apocrypha, really the Bible is not for the, the average person. The, this, this, this book, these books right here, or this book right here, is for the elect to have their eyes open. And at the same time, we're commanded to teach the people. Hold that and give me, uh, oh, no, no, stay, stay in that uh, second Ezra, the 15th chapter in the first verse. Go ahead. Second Ezra is 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of, the, of prophecy. That's what it says. That's what you're supposed to do. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. What does the word prophecy mean? It means simply to say before. We speak about the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. That's a prophecy. All right? We speak about the ICBM missiles. That's a prophecy. We speak about uh, this famine, the coming famine that's happening all throughout Europe and other parts of the world. That's prophecy. So the Most High said to speak it. Go ahead. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So the Most High is making us prophesy. He said, which I will put in your mouth. Go ahead. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, because all these prophecies that we're reading are going to come to pass. These Edomites, which they like to call themselves Caucasians or so-called white people, they're going into slavery. How do, we, how do I know that? It's in the book. They're going after... A period of time They're going to be gathered together And they're going to be burnt up How do I know that? It's in the book It's prophecy All the tribes are going to come back together When we take out these Edomites When we, make, when we disappear them When we phase them out When we liquidate them All the tribes are going to be together How do I know that? Because it's in the book Go ahead Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of, the, of them. Right, the unbelief. Don't be bothered by the people that don't believe. And I'm in that spirit, man. If you can't get this, man, I said, look, man, I'm wasting my time. Because we're at the point where the shit is getting ready, getting ready to hit the fan. So I'm not going to waste time trying to make you get it. Like I was watching a video of uh, the brothers out there in uh, Texas. And they were dealing with these two jakes. And uh, Amit Shabayala was dealing with these two Jakes. And I can see that them guys just couldn't get it, man. Because the guy acted like he knew something, man. And I was going to put a comment in there. And I will say, man, if I was there, I'd tell them to walk down the street. But I understand why they kept them there. They're doing it for edification for the other people. A lot of times when you think we're trying to wake up a hard, a boneheaded Negro, we really, we really know that they can't be woken up. But we're using that as an opportunity to... Uh, to, uh, for, for the elect to edify the elect They're thinking that we're really trying to get that we, Man, I gotta, I gotta get Man, I, we, they, they think we're really trying to crack that nut, so to speak They think we're trying to get into that pineal, uh, pineal gland That third eye to wake their asses up And we know it ain't gonna happen Because your pineal gland is, is, is diminished, man Your third eye is, 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 is gone Now don't get stupid all right, the pineal gland is a gland that opens you up to spiritual things, to the Most High talking to you, man. When the Most High or woke us up to being Israelites, He tapped into the pineal, uh, pineal gland, pineal gland to wake us up, man. Which which goes into our spirit. The reason why we know that we're Israelites is because the Most High opened our spirit to to know that we're Israelites, man. Doesn't it say the eyes uh, are the windows to the soul? 
So where is your soul at? Right here, right in your brain, in the middle of your brain. It's a portal. See, with your physical eyes, you can see physical things, three dimensions. With your, your inner eye, your inner spirit, you can see spiritual things. Go ahead. Man, I, look, I had this one woman I used to deal with years ago, and uh, we, were, we would sleep in the bed, and there was a one incident where she was dead sleep, and I, I heard a bunch of people come three in the damn morning, four in the morning, come through my, my door and walk around, walk all over the place, and then be down. And I would ask if, it, if, and you can hear them talking. And I would ask if she heard anything. Or if she said she ain't felt nothing. You know why? Because she, 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 her mind wasn't open up to the spiritual realm, man. Go ahead. Let That's in the state when them demons get you is in between your your awakened state and your deep sleep sleep uh, state. Because in the deep sleep, you're not gonna you're gonna be in a deep sleep. But when you're at that point of half awoke and half sleep, that's when them demons get you, and you know that the demons are on you. This devil, he has a surprise coming to him, man. But this devil is proud. Go ahead. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, all the unfaithful, it, it didn't say 50%. It didn't say 92%. It said, all the unfaith, un read again. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Those are talking about Israelites. The ones that can't get it, the ones that are Moors, the ones that are uh, uh, Mus Muslims, the ones that are Roman Catholics, uh, Baptist, Methodist, uh, Seventh-day Adventist, uh, Atheists, Jehovah Witness, uh, free thinkers. If you're not down with what we're teaching, you ain't going to make it. If you're on the shores of America. Alright we're going to read a couple more verses. Then we're going to close up. Behold saith the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore saith the Lord. I, would, I, I will hold my tongue no more. As touching their wickedness. Which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And that's us. We're complaining continually. We want the Most High to come, so we're complaining to the Most High. When are you going to come? Go ahead. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And now we know it's not talking about ancient Egypt. Because uh, Ezra, the uh, prophet and priest Ezra, high priest Ezra, he came about after the uh, Egyptian um, empire. And you know Ezra or Ezra's is a direct descendant to Aaron. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. That, and, and smite Egypt again with plagues as before. So based upon what we just read, it ain't talking about ancient Egypt. It's talking about the new Egypt. That's why you have obelixes in D.C. You have the Washington Monument. The word monument means uh, a memorial or something to remember. And what is the, uh, mo the monument? It's a man-made obelisk. Egyptian obelisk. Go ahead. And will destroy all the land thereof. And that's, that land is talking about what? This land right here. Go ahead. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, 
and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, because they're, they're going to say this government is, is bullsh- bullshit, man. They had a, um, uh, the other day, they spoke about Congress, the approval rating of uh, Congress, and it's 18%. So out of uh, 100 people, only eight people, 18 people approve of Congress. The majority of the people don't approve of Congress. So people, and then the situation with uh, Hurricane Sandy and FEMA, they figured, well, we're white. FEMA's going to come and help us. Well, they did the same thing that they did with uh, the, the uh, Katrina, Hurricane Katrina in, in, um, in uh, New Orleans. And what they did was they went to dry land where people wasn't affected by that, that flood and they demanded their guns. And if you didn't have, if you gave them a, the wrong answer, you got beat down. I don't give a damn if you was an 80-year-old woman. Because there is a story of that. Where, or 80, I think she was in the 80s. She said, she said look, I got guns and um, I got food. My, my house is all right. And they busted in the door and they, they threw her down and they popped her a couple of times. And that's on... Uh, 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 that's on on the web. That's on YouTube. And you had this black, you had this black uh, uh, high-ranking police officer that says, "We coming to get your guns." Go ahead. It says, "A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid." And with that. We're going to close. So uh, check us on the next uh, installment. Shalom. No one will be able to be armed. We will take all weapons. It was a human drama with emotions and tensions running high. Patty Connie is still trying to recover physically and emotionally. They really did a number on me. From the day police forced her from her home. It was traumatic. All of a sudden, they were banging on the front door, the side door, and the back door, and they said, let us in. Patty tried to explain. She was on dry land, she had plenty of food and water, and didn't want to abandon her dogs. But it didn't matter. If you see six or eight police that look like linebackers pushing you in a corner, you're, you're in shock. I'm saying, look at all my food. I got plenty of food. They kept pushing me back, pushing me back, and ended up like this. Then, Patty showed them a small revolver she was carefully holding in the palm of her hand. A camera crew was there to capture what unfolded next. I said, it's not even loaded. And I dropped it on the floor. You got a gun, well, they punched me in the face. Look at my black and blue marks. Look at, look at what they did to me. They dragged me out of here. I really thought they were going to kill me. I really did.